The Biden administration special envoy for North Korea returned home after wrapping up his five-day Seoul visit. It's made clear Washington is still committed to engaging with North Korea. The State Department is not terminating the working group forum established between South Korea and the U.S., rather making adjustments. Hong Yu has the full story. The U.S. State Department has said that it remains prepared to engage in principal negotiations with the North on its denuclearization. State Department spokesperson Ned Price made such remarks during a press briefing on Tuesday after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's sister Kim Yo-jong warned the U.S. that it has misguided expectations about resuming dialogue with the regime. The spokesperson added that the State Department will wait and see if these comments are followed up with any more direct communication about a potential path forward. In regards to South Korea and the U.S. having agreed to consider ending a working reform in North Korea policy, the spokesperson said they are not using the word termination, but rather readjustment. A diplomatic source on Wednesday said that the representatives in charge of the working group had agreed to use the word conclusion during their discussion on Monday. But the State Department spokesperson said that no matter how they name the diplomatic mechanism, the U.S. will focus on closely cooperating with South Korea and North Korea policy. Meanwhile, a pro Pyongyang newspaper in Japan, Chosan Shinbo, reported Wednesday that North Korea and China are working together to ensure the stable management of the situation on the Korean peninsula. It added that a recent op ed piece in the regime's official newspaper, Nodong Shinbun, is a clear sign of this. The North Korean ambassador and Chinese ambassador have stressed the importance of strengthening and coordinating strategic communication between the two and emphasized contributions for the peace and stability of the region. Chu San Shinbo claimed that the North Korea-China alliance overpowers that of its enemies. South Korea as well is trying to communicate with China in regards to the regime. Seoul's special representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs, Do Gyu-dok, had his first phone call with his Chinese counterpart Liu Xiaoming on Wednesday. They discussed ways to cooperate in making progress toward denuclearization and permanent peace on the Korean Peninsula. No asked for China's support to bring the North back to the negotiating table, and Liu reaffirmed China's willingness to cooperate by playing a constructive role. No also invited Liu to visit Seoul for face-to-face -face talks. Hong Yu, Arirang News.